Alongside our insider, Chris Johnson, CJ, right after last night's loss to the San Jose Sharks, it looked like Jay Woodcroft was mouthing the words, that might be it, as he was coming off the ice. What are you hearing out of Edmonton? Is that it? Well, I'm not sure what he said, but what I can tell you is that Saturday night in Seattle is about as must-win as it gets for the Oilers and for Jay Woodcroft. The expectation at this time is that he will remain uh, the head coach through the end of this road trip at least, and that involves Saturday's game in Seattle. There's also a practice in that city on Friday afternoon for the Oilers, and so I think everything will be reevaluated uh, when the team gets home in terms of what the next steps might be, uh, but at this point in time, he, he remains the head coach of the team and I don't see that changing here in the next 24 or 48 hours. Okay, so if and when they do make a change, then they come back after that Seattle game. They've got a couple of games at home, and then they hit the road again. If they make a change, who do you see as the leading candidate to replace Woodcroft behind the bench? Well, probably the easiest decision would be to turn it over to Glenn Gullitson, who's already on the bench as an assistant uh, on Jay Woodcroft's staff. Uh, you know, if you look externally, there, there's, there's people like Gerard Gallant out there that I think would be available. And so that's something that I guess that, that Oilers management will have to look at if they get to a point where they feel that that coaching change is necessary. But you know, at this point in time, I think they're, they're hoping for some stability. They're hoping for it to turn around, hoping that, that they don't have to, to get to that point where they're making that sort of decision. But uh, you know, probably the, the most easy candidate if they end up going down that road is, is Gullitson, who's, who's coached, of course, in Calgary and Dallas as a head coach in the past in the NHL and uh, is right there in-house at the moment. There's such a sense of urgency right now, CJ, because this is a team that exactly a month ago looked like the Stanley Cup favorite. Now they're literally rock bottom in the NHL. The window with McDavid and Dreisaitl is open but can be closing very shortly. How much urgency does that add to we've got to fix this now because we can't afford another lost season? Well, this was a massive, massive year for the Oilers, and it still is, of course. It's not all lost. I know they're 2-9-1, and one, and things look terrible in the moment, but there is time, and I believe that, that Oilers management is looking at this as, oh, there's still time to get themselves back in this as long as they can turn things around quickly. But because of what you're saying, you know, Leon Dreisaitl is eligible to sign an extension as of uh, July 1st, 2024, meaning he's got a decision to make uh, presumably this coming summer. So this is really the last year you can say with 100% certainty that you've got Dreisaitl and McDavid on the same team together. And, and you know, unfortunately, when you look at the slow start for the team, part of it has been, you know, I think, uh, a McDavid not at 100%. Dreisaitl certainly not clicking and producing the sort of numbers you're accustomed to. And, you know, it's almost been an imperfect storm the way this has started between goaltending, uh, some of the systemic breakdowns they're having, and then their top offensive players just not being at their best. But, yes, this is a huge year, a critical year, and it would have been that even without a slow start. And uh, this obviously intensifies how important these this next really days are, let alone weeks, for this organization. And the Oiler Watch continues. Hockey insider Chris Johnson.